shadowy government with its own air force, its own navy, its own fundraising mechanism, and the ability to pursue its own ideas of the national interest, free from all checks and balances, and free from the law itself. During the 1970s, Senator Frank Church held the Church Committee hearings where decades of secret, clandestine, deep state operations were made public to the world. From mind control of small kidnapped children in America to government narcotics trafficking to the structure of the deep, permanent, secret government itself, a lot of incredible revelations came out. Then, during the Iran-Contra hearings of the 1980s, even more came out. As a young researcher, I began to look into this information in the early 1990s and became somewhat of a history buff on it. That's why it's been very frustrating for me, who is informed from the congressional record, to cover this information and have controlled corporate media, in many cases working directly for the deep state, lie to the public and tell you that I'm fake news. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now have a high-level CIA whistleblower who's gone public and given a lengthy speech detailing the very structure of the shadow government which controls the ever-expanding deep state. Kevin Shipp worked for more than two decades at the highest level of the Central Intelligence Agency in some of the most secretive projects. In the last decade, he's been quietly working with the former technical director of the National Security Agency, William Binney, to bring out legally what they can without violating the so-called national security laws that the deep state uses via the shadow government and the controlled corporate press to keep the American people in the dark. Kevin Shipp recently spoke live to a crowd at a geoengineering conference of scientists and press. Zero Hedge transcribed much of the video that's posted on Infowars.com as well as ZeroHedge.com. But in the interest of brevity, let me simply read from the transcript from Zero Hedge. Then I'm going to give you the rest of the story coming up here in a few minutes about what the goals of the shadow government actually are. From the article, high-ranking CIA agent blows whistle on deep state shadow government. NSA and CIA at the top of the shadow government apparatus. Zero Hedge, September 16th, 2017. And here we are covering it now live on the 18th. A CIA whistleblower, Kevin Shipp, has emerged from the wolves' den to expose the deep state and the shadow government, which he calls two entirely separate entities. And again, the reason this is so important is, he says, there's a civil war in the deep state trying to alert the public to how the shadow government controls the deep state. The deep state's not the enemy. It was established after nuclear weapons were developed so that in case the main government got wiped out, there was a backup. But special interests have used the transference of power to the deep state to, again, set up a parallel government that's operating outside the American people's control and which operates directly against the American people. But let me go back to the article. From high-level CIA whistleblower Ship's speech, the shadow government controls the deep state and manipulates our elected government behind the scenes, Ship warned in a recent talk at a geoengineeringwatch.org conference. Ship had a series of slides explaining how the deep state and shadow government functions as well as the horrific crimes they are committing against U.S. citizens. Some of the revelations the former CIA anti-terrorism counterintelligence officer revealed included that Google Earth was set up through the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency and NQTEL. Indeed, he is correct. The CIA and NGA owned the company Google acquired Keyhole Inc., paying an undisclosed sum for the company to turn its tech into what we now know as Google Earth. Another curious investor in Keyhole Inc. was none other than venture capital firm InQtel, run by the CIA, according to a press release at the time. But of course, it was InQtel money that helped found Google in the beginning as well. This is the controlled deployment of secret government technologies to the public with backdoor Trojan horses for global control. 
Ship also disclosed that the agency known as the Joint Special Ops Command is the president's secret army, which he can use for secret assassinations, overturning governments, and things the American people don't know about. And that really first started with Delta Force in 1979, but now has expanded out into an entire sprawling complex. And it's not just the army, but other branches of the military. FBI warrantless searches violate the Fourth Amendment with the national security letters, which SHIP noted enables them to walk into your employer's office and demand all your financial records. And if he or she says anything about them being there, they can put your supervisor in jail or drop a case against themselves using the state's secret privilege law. Now, here's where it gets really important. The top of the shadow government is the National Security Agency and the Central Intelligence Agency, Ship said. Ship expressed that the CIA was created through the Council on Foreign Relations with no congressional approval. And historically, the CFR is also tied into the mainstream media. He elaborated that the CIA was the, quote, central node of the shadow government and controlled all of the other 16 intelligence agencies, despite the existence of the DNI. The agency also controls defense and intelligence contractors to manipulate the president and political decisions, has the power to start wars, torture, initiate coups, and commit false flag attacks, he said. As Ship stated, the CIA was created through executive order by then-President Harry Truman by signing the National Security Act of 1947. Then the shadow government began to absorb the legitimate government and parlay American power into global domination. My words, not ships. Continuing with ship, the deep state is comprised the military industrial complex, intelligence contractors, defense contractors, MIC lobbyists, Wall Street offshore accounts, Federal Reserve, IMF World Bank Treasury, foreign lobbyists, and central banks. But what is their ideology? I'm going to get to that. The rest of the story. In the shocking explosive presentation, Ship went on to express that there are over 10,000 secret sites in the United States that formed after 9-11. There are 1,291 secret government agencies, 1,931 large private corporations, and over 4,800,000 Americans that he knows of who have a security clearance and over 854,000 who have top secret clearance explaining why they signed their lives away bound by an agreement. He also detailed how Congress is owned by the military-industrial complex through the Congressional Armed Services Committee, 48 senior members of Congress, giving those members money in return for a vote on the spending bill for the military and intelligence budget. He even touched on what he called the, quote, secret intelligence industrial complex, which he called the center of the shadow government, including CIA, NSA, NRO, and NGA. Ship further stated that around the secret intelligence industrial complex, you have the big five conglomerate of intelligence contractors. Lidos Holdings, CSRA, CACI, SAIC, and Booz Allen Hamilton. He noted that the work they do is top secret and unreported. The whistleblower remarked that these intelligence contractors are accountable to no one, including Congress, echoing the words of Senator Daniel Inouye when he himself blew the whistle on the shadow government during the Iran-Contra hearings in 1987. Let's go to a clip from that. A shadowy government with its own Air Force, its own Navy, its own fundraising mechanism, and the ability to pursue his own ideas of the national interest, free from all checks and balances, and free from the law itself. So who is Ship? Is he credible? Is he who he says he is? And the answer is, as we're about to cover, absolutely, ladies and gentlemen, he is one of the highest level CIA whistleblowers we've ever seen. And he gives us, again, another window into even how the people high level in the system are being abused, used, and controlled. This is what AIM.org wrote about SHIP. SHIP held several high-level positions in the CIA. He was assigned as a protective agent for the director of the Central Intelligence Agency, a counterintelligence investigator, a counterterrorism center staff, a team leader protecting sensitive CIA assets from assassination, a manager of high-ranking protective operations, a lead instructor for members of the allied governments, an internal staff security investigator, and a polygraph examiner. 
He was tasked with protecting the CIA from foreign agent penetration and the chief of training for the CIA Federal Police Force. Mr. Ship functioned as a program manager for the Department of State Diplomatic Security and Anti-Terrorism Assistance Global Policing Training Program. He is the recipient of two CIA meritorious unit citations, three exceptional performance awards, and a medallion of overseas covered operations. He is the author of From the Company of Shadows, CIA Operations, and the War on Terrorism. Is this the beginning of more whistleblowers coming forward to end the shadow government and deep state? You can watch Ship's full explosive presentation below at ZeroHedge.com or NewsWars.com. And now, as Paul Harvey would say, let me in brevity give you the rest of the story. And remember, everything I'm going to break down, everything I'm going to talk about is actually hiding in plain view. The shadow state would love you to believe that everything they're doing is invincible and all-powerful. When really, it's a bunch of different special interests that have established a new form of royalty for themselves so they can operate above the law, in many cases for their own interest. And what they're really trying to do is take control of human development and control the future and use America's incredible ingenuity, inventiveness, and strength and will to project that power out into the world to establish the first corporate planetary government whose ends is to carry out a worldwide eugenics program against the population. But I want to be clear. The so-called deep state is made up of our military. It's made up of anybody that's signed any type of confidentiality forms, that works for major corporations, that do government work. A large part of our country is involved in this so-called shadow system, which was established again to defeat the Soviet Union and to survive a nuclear war. So many of the people involved in the shadow government are not bad people. Many of the people involved in the deep state are not bad people. But it's critical to understand that the people that have burrowed in and gotten control of the Shadow government are in control of the deep state and thus our taxes, our regulations, our nation, our direction. And so if you ask, why is the media lockstep anti-family, anti-Christian, pro-Islamic? Why is the media for open borders? Why is the media for globalism? Why is the media attacking marriage? Why is the media attacking men and women? Why is the media promoting race war? Why is the pr media promoting Hollywood garbage? And it's because the people that craved power and the people that got control of the national security state from the moment it was born in 1947 are very wicked, controlling, twisted souls who more than anything lust after power and control. And as we know, the ultimate form of control is abusing and hurting or even killing small children. And that's why from the deep state that controls the Vatican to the deep state that controls our major intelligence agencies to Congress, you see perpetual occultism, pedophilia, and bizarre behavior. Because as we read in history books, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts absolutely. And these elites have been out of control forever believing they're above the law, doing things so evil and corrupt that like psychopaths who don't get caught tend to get more and more reckless. They've gotten more and more reckless and are now basically trying to get caught. They're begging all of us to stop them. Control freaks want to run your life. And to do that, they've got to build an artificial environment. They've got to take your resources and build their breakaway civilization so they can play God. But they don't want you to have access to the life extension technologies. They don't want you to have access to the quantum computing. They don't want you to have access to the AI. Because if you had access to that, you would be a competitor to them. So the deep state's greatest crime is that they've deployed technology to the American people and to people of other nations, but only with back doors in it that surveil us and control us and let them know our hopes and dreams so they can manipulate us. The deep state has a goal to dehumanize and reduce world population from between 80 and 90%. Their documents are public. 
and they are carrying out covert operations where they are adding sterilants and where they are adding cancer viruses and other slow kill and soft kill weapons to the vaccines. Fluoride added in 1947 was a national security act. The Nazis and the communist Russians had done it to lower fertility and lower IQ. Uh, keeping iodine out of the food supply, also about reducing population. And their argument is, if you're dumb enough to not know you need this, you deserve what's happening to you. Ladies and gentlemen, they've stolen the future. Special interests have gone in, set up a secret government, and they've broken away. And the hope here is that there are good people inside the deep state, not many inside the shadow government, who know that this is evil, and now they've gotten f further enough down the line to know that enough pieces of the puzzle have been put together, because they're compartmentalized as well, to understand the end game is global government and global exterminism and an anti-God, anti-family hell. So because they understand the end game is corrupt, they're fighting back. They're leaking information. They're speaking out. And they supported Donald Trump because it was believed he wanted Americana, he wanted prosperity, he wanted God, guts, and guns again, not the socialist hell that the globalists are trying to push. And to a great extent, Trump has delivered so far. But he's being pulled in and surrounded by the swamp that covets power more than anything else. That's why it's important for us to devolve power from the globalist systems, from the big box stores, from the New World Order operations to our own towns, our own cities, our own schools, our own businesses, and to rediscover what Americana is and to say no to the globalist that would steal the future and to understand they've used the secrecy to establish a system that if they used it to empower humanity would take us to the stars but instead is trying to kill the West and kill the very renaissance that was so powerful it gave birth to the technologies that have allowed many of these globalists to basically have the control and foresight and knowledge of demigods. Ladies and gentlemen, now more than ever, it's critical for you to make a decision about the facts we presented here. And to understand the reason I've been demonized and attacked and made fun of everywhere is because they think you're weak-minded and they don't want you to pay attention to what I've been saying for 22 years. The truth is we've been dead on because we're going to the source white paper documents where the globalists have arrogantly been communicating in public about this plan. The truth is I'm dead on. And the truth is, I'm still alive because of you supporting me and many people in the deep state that are patriots that understand the truth. So the evil globalists are afraid to kill me because it might turn me into a martyr or they might get caught. We're in the middle of a civil war deciding the future destiny of this republic and the world. And people making jokes about this or people not paying attention or folks deciding they don't matter. So just let somebody else handle it. It's what has put us in the position of almost being technotronic, technocracy slaves. Let's continue with what our ancestors did and stand up for what's right. Let's focus on being engaged and informed, and let's turn this world around. Because as Thomas Jefferson said, the only thing an evil men and tyrants need to flourish is that good men and women do nothing. And the truth is, the tide is turning, history's happening, and it's because of you, the info warriors, that this planet has a shot of being free. That's not hype. It's the truth. The globalists know you're the most awake, informed people out there. They know you're the tip of the spear. So now more than ever, double down your efforts to reach out to everyone you know to inform them about the facts and share this video with everybody you know. Second hour is coming up live with Owen Schroyer and more straight ahead. I'm Alex Jones, and this is the Info War. This one right here is in the top three. Alexa Pure Breeze. You can buy filters similar to this one for $500 to $600 that are three stage. Alexa Pure Breeze is $200, has a four filter system, including ion, cluster, charcoal, and more, that is completely game changing and costs less than half of leading competitors. And when you look at the specs, it's just amazing. When you first turn it on in a room, it's 
red, meaning it's picking up particula, it's picking up pathogens, it's picking up gases, it's picking up toxins. And it might take 10 minutes, it might take an hour for it to turn pink and then blue when it's picking nothing up. And these are so strong. In my home, if I sneeze 20 feet away, in a few seconds, it goes from blue to red. It's picking up that particula. That's what's so amazing about this unit is the sensors are so strong and the four filtration systems uh, are so compact but so powerful. Could you spend way more and get something that maybe has a little bit better specs? Yes. But there are a lot of filters out there that are $500, $600, $700 that aren't even as good. And again, uh, these can go six months to a year depending on how dirty the environment is. The replacement filters are very, very inexpensive. Do yourself a favor and go to InfoWarsStore.com today. Read the specs for yourself, and then you have nothing to lose. Spend $200. Help us make $50 to fund our operation. Get an amazing unit in your home. I'm very confident that we're going to see you come back and order several more, and then a few more for your office, and then to give them as gifts as well. There are studies, and listen to me carefully, all over the world, and depending on the study, it's between seven and 12 years that the average person loses off their life expectancy living in a big city alone because of the toxins and the particulates. You then add all the pollen and the rest of it. It is not a luxury to have the Alexa Pure Breeze that is the best filtration system out there at the lowest price. It is essential. We are doing everything we can to mitigate the toxic environment that industrial society has created. So support the info war. Fund folks that are fighting the globalist and having success and get a system that purifies and cleans the air for yourself and your family. It's the Alexa Pure Breeze at InfoWarsStore.com. We also have their full line of amazing gravity-fed filters as well, which are a huge home run. But this, this is a grand slam. Thank <laughs> you.